Hello, and welcome back to Idle Kingdom Defense. So today, 15,343. I'm sure you're not surprised by that. And let's check out how many vests we have. And we're up to 71 already. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, vests seem to be coming along faster, but it could be an illusion. Uh, that said, today is a special day because we have... Oh, wait. Why are we here? This is not where I wanted to be. We need to renovate first. What am I thinking? says, so today is the day that we will renovate the castle. Okay, 68. I think 68 is pretty good. I really should pay more attention to what we start with, but you know because you can rewind the video. That is the power of recording things. But that said, I think that was a pretty good draw. I think we did fairly well, but then let's get to the portal. Portal, portal, portal. Portal, portal, portal. Portal, portal, portal. And again, this is the 25 to tokens on Hero Seals Day. If you're not sure how to do this, you can search through my videos. There's one called Rollover Portal Tickets, but I will explain it while we're claiming them. Basically, uh, on the day of Gear Seals, I buy five extra tickets and don't spend them. That rolls over to give you 15 tickets to start with on the... It's one of the weapon scrolls or the... It's the, it's the scroll day. Then on scroll day, you spend 10 of the tickets, leaving you with 5. You buy 5 more tickets, which returns you to 10. And then those tickets will then roll over the next day to uh, Hero Seal Day. And then you can basically spend the 10 tickets you get from Portal Day, plus the 10 tickets you rolled over, plus the five tickets you can buy for a total of 25 tickets. And it's the same thing with the dragon. That's why we're starting out with 15, because we rolled five over from yesterday. So again, we did 10 wolves yesterday. Oh, I should have paid attention. I thought there were stones. Oh, that was hero seals. Damn. So it's the same thing, though. We bought five extra wolf. We didn't spend them. We waited, and we start with 15 dragons. So both can be conveniently rolled over. And if you want to optimize your dragon and your portal, feel free. And we're going to go after that shining weapon stone. Or, okay, we're just going to get... Okay, I like, I like getting the things I want on the first pick. If that would happen every time, that would be great. So this is just the strategy going forward. Everything on the dragon, because the dragon actually gives us the weapon stuff, and weapons, uh, weapon upgrades are better than... I don't know why I did that. Weapon upgrades are better than armor upgrades. And the and again, in terms of portal, the best one is always going to be the uh, hero seal. So, I mean, considering two of them are regular scrolls, and the other one's gear seals, and you know I haven't used gear seals in a very long time. There's not really a lot of competition on portal side of things. But it's, it's still nice. It is what it is, right? And I'll still sock away a bunch of gear seals because who knows what they could be used for. Remember, we did that before and I kept all my scrolls and then all of a sudden now we can gamble the scrolls. So just remember, even though you're overstock on something, I actually asked them for that. I said, why don't you make it for steel? Because I don't know about you, but I am swimming in steel and steel. Like, honestly, I want, I, I, if they don't do that... I want them to, like Conquest, let us upgrade everything to, like, uh, 20. You know? I have so much steel, and, and I'm sitting on it, and there's nothing I can do with it. I would like to do something with it. Honestly, I, I want a uh, fourth Conquest map, to be honest with you. I kind, I kind of feel like we should... I. I I know it's a little premature because we don't even have 36 heroes yet. We have 34, so that's why that's why my conquest is habitually empty in the last two. But I don't know. I feel like we should get one. A new conquest. I think that'd be fun. Well, it'd be fun until we got the levels got kind of tedious. And then we'd all be like, yeah, these levels suck. Maybe they'd have to do conquest with a different flair. Maybe something like Total War. You can only, you know, only spend your heroes... You know, so many times a day. <clears throat> Again, that'd only be for the new flavor of content, of conquest. But you know, something to just change it up. 
All right, so we did that. We got the... Wait, did I buy my extra dragon? Let me make sure. Yes, bought the dragon. And the portal. And now for purchasing heroes here. So again, we are looking for four-star heroes. So just, you know, we got to go through, look for four-star heroes. That's what matters. And hopefully we will get them, but we have not gotten them yet. Got to keep trying. Eventually we will have some. And yeah, I'm actually moving my hand away from the refresh. So I don't refresh too soon. That's a strategy I know I need to use. Because this prevents me from just spamming refresh and missing out on something. It's not really that critical right here. But if I'm doing this, I might as well like get what I'm looking for, right? Like it's bad when I sit there and just like refresh, refresh, refresh. Oh, damn it. That was something. So we're going to... Take the time to move our mouse away from the refresh button and come back and then go to the refresh button. And oh, see? There's Thor. Not that I really need it, but that is actually helping Thor with his uh his record there. He has 4,500 shards. Of course, Hildy is the worst at just 24 shards, but that's because, you know, we got her to five-star mythic. What are we going to do? All we can do is save our summons and look at let's look at how many we have. 344,000 and 2.2 million gear seals. Okay, so that's done. And I think we have done, yeah, everything but level. And we are going to go level now. Oh, no, we're going to do astrology, the stars. That's as much as I'm going to say about that. It's a Metallica song. I used to be a big Metallica fan back in the day. I mean, I'm still a big fan, just not as big of a fan. I wouldn't say their Napster thing killed it for me, but it did kind of uh, make me not like the band so much. Kind of was disappointed in that. I listened to Metallica so much when I was younger. I was a little metalhead. Even though it was an older band. I say older, you know, comparatively, but it's like, uh, it wasn't as, I think, uh, Tool was released, uh, you know, I, don't, I can't even say for sure that Tool was, uh, not an old band when I was listening to it. I remember their release in, like, 2007, that's what I remember. Okay, so now that's done. Now I think we have completed everything, except leveling the hero. So we will go here and we are working on Gabriel. Gabriel gets some levels. And uh, I guess you are next? Okay. Yep. I mean, we just, just have to share at this point. I do have a new strategy with artifacts we're going to talk about. So I have been hanging out in the Discord because I wanted to see what everybody was doing with the artifacts, you know, just out of curiosity. And I, I agree with the strategy people have proposed. It's kind of what I've hinted at and kind of why I pushed the Flame Fortress in the first place. Uh, but I want to formalize the strategy a little bit more now. But that said, let's see. Again, though, it's kind of a double-edged sword. If we focus on getting the warrior's good artifact to the exclusion of everybody else, who is going to do the most damage? The warriors. You know, that's the thing. With the wild castle and everything, if we, if we keep focusing on the warriors, of course the warriors are going to do more damage. That's just how, that's just how anything works. All right, so we got to go. All right, so this is our four-star. Four-star common. And again, we're mostly going to get two-star amulets, and we will be making more amulets today. What? Good thing I caught that. Dastardly thing. I do dislike that it shuffles things when I'm not even clicking things that should be shuffleable. Like, I'm picking from the bottom, and it's shuffling things on the top, and I don't know why. Whatever the order is at the top, I can't be disturbing, because I'm picking from the bottom. Just, it's so strange.
And this is a little easier to do. Mostly because we get in books and we turn the books into book food. Well, they're actually not book food, they're amulet food. Amulet food. <clears throat> I do miss taking all my ragtag themes to the variety of places. I mean, if we ever add another element, at least we have that to look forward to. I also look forward to getting them all like three star uh, mythic gear. Just so that they have like a baseline set of gear. It's not gonna, it's not the best, but it'll be good enough. Unless, unless we get something better than mythic. Oh, two amulets. And this is about all we're gonna be doing. Now, eventually, I will try to push uh, higher, but but that's not for now. All right. And I don't think we've even had any luck getting an amulet to the sixth awakening yet. Or uh, not the sixth awakening, but the sixth awakening. But you know, today is a new day, and anything. And I mean anything could happen. And look at how efficient this is now. Nice and efficient. Everything's working the way it's supposed to be. You can't have any complaints about that. Doo, doo, doo. Nice and efficient. And I think because we made so many amulets and stuff yesterday, we'll be able to get most of these. Yeah, because we only get 30. We only get... It'll be close, I think. I think we had 40 amulets. When we, I don't know. We'll see. I think we had maybe 40 relics when we started. I'm not sure. Relics do need to be lockable, though. And the rumor has it is somebody has made a 150 artifact on the Discord. I did ask them to make a set of categories for two different artifact types. One is for the trifecta. A trifecta is a, is any artifact that rolls attack, attack percent, and um, crit damage as your awakenings. And and the other one is just the highest artifact, which to me just means you just level one up the, mo the most. Now I don't know. I, I, I'd have to look at the difference between artifacts. That's not making sense. Like, if you have a five-star common and you level it up really far, is that, you know, how does that compare to, say, a one-star common? It probably would be whoever has the most bonus. I feel like that's the only way to do it. Now, okay, we ended up with 76 artifacts. So I guess we started with 16, now we have 76. That makes sense. Oh, what is our... I forgot to look. What is our... Yeah, so we're eight behind, so that's exactly right. We should, we would have been at um, 189 if I didn't try to push uh, Flame Tower 8, or Flame Fortress 8, excuse me. We're instead at 181. However, this is not a problem because in, wait. Oh yeah, even if I, even if I didn't have it, I was like, wait a second. Even if I didn't have it, it would be 249 out of 50. So in three days, we'll be getting out of here anyways. I can't. I, I my my alt account will be to will get to two. Uh, oh jeez, I can't even say it. Two seventy nine out of two fifty. Two seventy nine. Two forty nine. Jeez. Yeah, I'm a little tired. It's been a long week. That said, we are going to artifact now, and we'll switch to the warriors. And I don't think. Okay, I doubt we got anything for you. Nope. Did we get? No, nope. All right, these four-star amulets are rare. Three-star amulets. Ooh, we could do a three-star, uh, but it's crit chance. Uh, yeah, I'd be better off doing this. All right, let's go eat some books. Books are delicious. All right, now we can re-roll and see. Attack. Gosh, I hate that. It's like crit damage, and then it's like the thing goes away. Reduce, and I'll, oh, 
What a troll. They had to know they were trolling when they did that. Well, so much for that. Alright, now we'll just uh, awaken, we'll just enhance and awaken the ones in our inventory. And again, they have to eat four level two books to, to uh, be awakenable. And then we're just going to awaken them. And, oh, I have, have a leftover one from, I have two leftover ones from yesterday. What are they? Crit resist and, oh, okay, that's the empty. Alright, so. Yeah, crit resist doesn't help us, so we'll use that one to awaken, and we're going to awaken and dodge. <sighs> dodge doesn't help us either. So again, same thing. One, two, three, four, four books. Okay, then we're going to awaken, and we'll grab this because it's dodge, and awaken, and hit points. Alright, so that didn't work, so then we make another one. And again, it's four books. One, two, three, four. And we enhance. We level up. And we awaken. One, two, three. And... Oh! I am out of shards. Huh. Well, now. All right, well, now we're just going to have to dismantle books. All right, wait. It's, it's one book we have to dismantle. Okay, so we'll just dismantle one book. Wait, how many more do we... Uh, you know, we're going to do two books. So a total of three. Alright, so... That is something to be mindful of. Awakening! Ah! Oh! <laughs> it got me again with the crit damage reduced. Come on! Come on! And again, four books... So level up and awaken. One, two, three. And survey says defense. Boo. Boo. We want a good stat. All right. And we awaken. And survey says accuracy. Ah. And, oops. And we enhance. And we awaken. Now, accuracy is actually might be a good one, but we don't need it right now. Oh, oh, we need to dismantle another book. So we're going to dismantle a two-star book. It's going to give us enough. And survey says, well, we have managed to not get a good amulet. Let's look at books. So the question is, do I even want to mess with books? And the answer is probably not. Oh, I can actually awaken this. We'll awaken. Oh, no, we can't. Um, okay, well, you know, we'll dismantle two books. No, 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 no. Because I'm sure we'll have plenty of books tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and uh, awaken this. And survey says, crit chance. Damn it. Every, every ability I don't want is what I'm getting. All right, so. Nope, we're at artifacts. I'm actually going to save those books as fodder. Again, we're only going to have 30 sweeps tomorrow, so that'll be we pick up 60 artifacts. We're in good shape with 18 out of 90. That said, that was a total. That was a. T that was terrible. So bad. Okay, I believe we're actually on Austin now. No, I mean Christian. Yeah, yeah, Christian is working, I believe, on 3-star. Yeah, we can actually summon Legendary. That's pretty impressive. So this is 3-star right here. And we need to get a couple of those um, accuracy. I'm kind of surprised at how well we're doing with this. And 6, and not 7. So I need 7, 8, and 9, which is a minimum of 24. So yeah, I'm not going to I'm not gonna have to worry about hitting that here. I get so tempted to spend rubies on this. And I know that's their, that's their design. They want me to spend rubies on it. They want me to do it. Alright, survey says, nope. <laughs> and this, nope. Yes! Okay, well at least we got one thing up. 
And this. Oh, oh, we actually have some. All right, let's get some crit chance. One, two, three. Ooh, we got all the way up to three. Very nice. So, yeah, we're working on this. Then we'll work on this. And if we finish both of these, which I don't know. We have, we have 110,000 to go. It's anybody's game. Unfortunately, that is the last thing we have to do. That said, once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, please say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.